Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 7th of August. And I'm looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo Entertainment System, which came bundled in with the actual console. Or at least mine did. Did anyone else have the bundled console version, or did you have the standalone? And what did you think of it? Because it was very different to what people thought they were going to be getting. I think people thought originally that Turtles was going to be the arcade version and it turned out to be anything but the arcade version but it was a pretty sound game from my memory. Now, got to remember that I played this many years ago. I was much younger, I mean I'm 42 now so I'll give you some idea. I got the NES when it was fairly new in the UK so um, yeah, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bundle was what I got. I'm very excited I was to have this game so let's get stuck in anyway. So it's a top-down and it's a side-scroller. Yes, that's quite confusing already, isn't it? But you start off with the top-down and you roam around the map and you can find sewer um, sewer entrances and you can go in them and then it switches to the side view. Now, the sewers are plagued with enemies, as you can see there, the mouser-type enemies and some big bloody flies. Uh, somebody really needs to get some raid in here, but never mind. Uh, controls are very, very nice, actually. Left, right, up, down and... Um, up down just climbs basically. Um, down will duck and go down ladders. Then you've got uh, attack and then you have jump and that's basically your uh, your system right there. Now to progress through you will get sort of mini bosses that was kind of one there and uh, to progress you just kill them and then you'll carry on. Some of the mobs in this game are ludicrous by the way just just to pre-warn you that not all of them are uh, straightforward this is all from memory. So I'm just refreshing myself here. You can see the enemies run around the map as well. He's trying to get to me unsuccessfully. Um, you start off with the turtle of your choice and um, you can you basically swap over if you die. I think you can swap over uh, mid-mission as well. I'm not 100% sure if I remember that correctly. But you can definitely do it once your turtle has expired. You can move on to the next turtle. So I've started with Leonardo here as you can see and um, I've, got, I've got throwing stars I can't remember how to switch to my other weapon, actually. Anyone know? Because I've forgotten. Never mind. Um, select seems to pause the game. So here's our first sort of boss. Uh, we have uh, Bebop, and you can see Rocksteady at the top, guarding April. Um, kind of nice to see these guys in the game. But, uh, yeah, so he's going to kidnap her and off, off they go. So we've got to find April. That's kind of the first sort of mission that you'll do. Uh, you can go into any of the warehouses or houses that have open doors. So unlike that one that's closed, I can't get in. Um, but we're going to try and get to various bits of the city. And you do that through going through the uh, sewer systems. So we're going to go through and see if we can uh, get to a different place. Oh, it's Leatherface or someone very, very similar. Um... Yeah, some of these mobs take a little bit of time, so you might want to save yourself a bit of time um, and avoid them because they respawn like exactly like that. So I think I'm going to try and I'm just going to go over him because I think he's probably going to be ah oh, there we go yes he got there's a whole troop of them but you can avoid them fairly simply. So there you go. God knows what those things crawling around the ceiling are. Oh, these guys are an absolute nightmare if I remember rightly. Um, Yes, so you want to be going over these guys as, as much as possible. Well, there's two of them. That's lovely. So I'm, I'm yes, I'm glad I thought I'd lose a life there. So now we have to choose a different one. We'll go with uh, Mikey this time, who's actually got his nunchucks. You can see that they have their coloured bandanas as normal. Those things will kill you instantly, so you want to stay away from them. Um, pizza will re revitalise your energy, so you, you can pick those up. You don't necessarily have to have them if your uh, energy is full. You can leave them and go back to them later on if you want to not a problem so we have this guy now who's like a mini boss when he changes direction he kind of squats down like that and then he will reappear and then yeah so his weak point is to make him turn around um, Leatherface making a reappearance here so it's kind of like two bosses here but he's quite easy to kill you can just attack him from behind you can see the energy bars down there um, controls are really quite tight quite like them a lot um, the gameplay is frustrating at times because you get you get consistently hit by things, it's kind of annoying. Um, 
The sound though is very good. The, the soundtrack's really quite nice. Really like that. It's one of those soundtracks you'll probably be humming or whistling around the house because that's just what this game does to you. Um, it's it's very good, and to be fair, for younger players, it's not too bad. You've just got to basically uh, just avoid stuff like this. I'm not doing very well, actually. It's been a long time since i played it, and I thought, instead of having a little playthrough and getting used to it, I'll just go hell for leather, and I've just found April. Hey, sweet. So now I've got to get uh, Rocksteady out of the way. Now, generally, the way you do it is to make him jump, then you can hit him as he goes over you. But uh, I'm just going to try and, and attack. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's attacked me. There you go. So, yeah, I've got to move on to the next one. Donatello, who has the best reach because he's got his bow staff. So that's one of the best and most powerful weapons. But it is also the slowest. So you've got to be careful. Um, yeah. But the level design's nice as well. When you're in the warehouses and stuff like that. And the sewer systems. They're also designed quite well getting absolutely trounced here uh, yeah so I'm just gonna try and avoid them but yeah animation wise is nice they're very fluid um, quite quite uh, nicely drawn as well I'm gonna die again oh dear um, graphics are nicely drawn animate nicely as well you can tell that they're all the different turtles they've all got the right colors on and all that jazz and I've lost another life so I'm gonna go with Raph now it's the only one I've got left probably the weakest of the turtles because he has no range on his weapon so there we go but you can see he's got his red bandana and his um, what do you call them skateboard pads on there so yes so yeah got a little sort of Robocop guy walking around the bottom there for absolutely no reason whatsoever uh, hard game to actually complete I'm uh, if I do defeat uh, Rocksteady here I'm probably not going to do the the, um, the bombs in the dam because that is ridiculously hard but you you get the idea of what the game's like anyway um, so yeah Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES it's actually quite nice um, I think I need to relook at this on the Spectrum I, I mean the Spectrum version was actually not bad it just it played like a bit of a dog and it was quite hard but uh, you know I think I might have to go and revisit that because the humble Spectrum did a fairly decent job I would have I'm, I'm gonna go back and look at that one again ladies and gents I think. Would you like to see the Spectrum one revisited? Because uh, was I maybe too harsh giving it a low score last time? So let's. Uh, would you like to see me have a look at this on a different system, perhaps? Maybe the Amstrad or the C64. Um, the other thing that they did, well, they did actually do an arcade version. It was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, I believe. And um, the Spectrum, Amstrad, C64, and all the home versions had a version of it. I don't think anything came close to the actual arcade, though. Um, the Super Nintendo had Turtles 2, Turtles in Time, so that's one I will be visiting as well. But this is, uh, yeah, it's a great game. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's not the game that we all expected it to be, but, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. The uh, the gameplay is good. It's nice, I think, that they didn't actually do the uh, Turtles game identical to the arcade. It was nice that we had something a bit different. I think it was just a bit of disappointment that the arcade game wasn't available on launch. It just took a little bit of time to get there, but uh, there we go. That's been the uh, that's basically the review, then, folks. Um, this has been Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I've been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Hello to all existing subscribers, and hello to all you new folks that have joined the, uh, in the past week. Great to have you aboard as well. I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.